everyone. Welcome to Live Interactive English. This is Karen. Hey, everybody. I'm Shane. Today we're looking at day one of Selena Gomez, staying strong, and the vocabulary words are follower. Follower. Some people enjoy having many followers on social media apps like Instagram. I do. <laughs> attitude. Attitude. Andrew maintains a pleasant attitude in any situation. Awesome. Yeah. Challenge. Challenge. He was always up for a challenge. Support. Support. They support their hometown baseball club.、Mm. Record. Record. The singer has recorded ten albums in the last decade. All right, Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez. She's very, very popular. Yeah, she's a great singer. Uh、mm-hmm. huh. Did you know that she started out as a child actress? I do remember hearing something about like Disney and <gasps> Barney. That's right, the famous children's show the big on TV. Purple dinosaur. I love Barney. I love you. You love me. We are a happy family. So, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> she actually. That's started, how she got her start, right? That's Barney. right. And then her mom was actually a stage actress as well. Oh, so that's what probably gave her inspiration to want to go into acting. Acting. That's right. right. And so then I think she got her first record deal at only 16 years old.、Mm, so, so not only. That she can act, she can sing, and she is beautiful. Yeah, so she seems like she's got it all. That's right, and she used to date Justin Bieber. Wow, wow, <laughs> okay, well then she really has had it all. <laughs> That's right. All right, let's learn more about Selena Gomez. That's right. Enjoy. Enjoy. Selena Gomez, staying strong. Singer and actress Selena Gomez is the most followed user on Instagram. With over 136 million followers, but her fans love her for more than just her selfies. The 25-year-old is also known for her positive attitude. Welcome to Live Interactive English Magazine. Today's lesson is called Selena Gomez staying strong. Day one. Hi everyone. I'm Jeff. I'm strong. <laughs> yes, you're very strong. Like Selena Gomez. I, I can see you're a big fan, and I'm Mike. And yes, today we're looking at former Disney star, now Instagram celebrity and pop singer Selena Gomez. That's who we're looking at today. She really is one of those new、uh, celebrities, those new stars. Who can sort of do it all? She acts, she sings. I guess she can dance. She probably can. And of course, she has a few more Instagram followers than I do. A yeah,、few. yeah. Get this. She is the most popular person <clears throat> on Instagram. She truly is、really? the Instagram star. Get this.、Wow. Singer and actress、mm-hmm. Selena Gomez is the most followed user on Instagram, with over 136 million followers.、That's、If you、right. take the population of the United States、mm-hmm. and you cut it into three parts,、mm-hmm. yeah, one third of the country there. Is following Selena Gomez on Instagram, or everyone in Russia, or everyone in Russia? That's staggering. That is a lot of followers. And yes, we use this word "follower" when talking about people who will follow you on an app like Instagram or Twitter or something like that. But more generally, a follower is someone who follows another person. Political leaders or religious leaders. Often have followers. If you really support a politician or really believe in a religious leader, you would say, "I am a follower of this person or this religious leader or even a religion." I am a follower of Buddhism. Means you are Buddhist and you, you know, go along with all of the rules and ideas of that thing. When we talk about Instagram, though, basically a follower is a fan, someone who likes Selena Gomez or whoever will find them on Instagram. And follow them, like them, so that they see their posts when they come out. For example, some people enjoy having many followers on social media apps like Instagram. Many followers, like 136 million. So a lot of followers on Instagram, but it's not just because she makes wonderful pictures, right? You mean selfies? You're、yeah. talking about selfies, of yeah? Of course. Her fans love her, but her fans love her for more. Than just her selfies.、Mm. Yes, Selena Gomez is deep. She's not just 
one gigantic, beautiful selfie. No, the 25-year-old Selena Gomez is also known for her positive attitude. Now, before we take a break, let's talk about the noun attitude. Your attitude is your outlook on life. It's your outlook on things. It's how you see the world. It's how you feel about your life and your circumstances in general. If you have a positive or a good attitude, you think good things are going to happen to you and to other people. If you have a bad attitude, you're disagreeable. You think bad things are going to happen. You don't get along with others, so on and so forth. Anyways, for example, Andrew maintains a pleasant attitude in any situation. He was always agreeable. They called him Agreeable Andrew. Anyways, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。这次要介绍的人物是席琳娜·戈梅兹 （Selena Gomez）。说到戈梅兹呢，很多人都会联想到小贾斯汀 （Justin Bieber）。毕竟他们一直分分合合，他们的关系让大家看得不飒飒。不过看完这两天的课文，下次你再听到这个名字“戈梅兹”这个名字，你心中浮现的也许不会是这些八卦消息，而是一位坚持不懈的勇敢女神。戈梅兹是歌手，也是演员。他还是 Instagram 这个社群媒体平台上粉丝最多的用户。他有超过一亿三千六百万名的追踪者。哎，这个人数已经跟俄罗斯的人口快要差不多了。那 Jeff 老师刚刚用到 staggering， staggering 这个形容词就是形容惊人的或是巨大的、难以置信的。好，课文提到，戈梅兹的粉丝爱他不只是因为他的自拍照而已，他正面积极的态度是众所皆知的。那我们文中的 selfie selfie 就是自拍照。那这边还有两个单字 follower follower， 它可以用来指社交平台里面的粉丝啊、追踪者。那这个字也可以用来指拥护者、追随者或是信徒。麦克老师在解释单字时提到 Buddhism Buddhism 就是佛教。下一个单字 attitude attitude 是指态度或是看法。它的意思就跟 outlook 差不多， outlook 是指观点、看法。好，那么 Jeff 老师刚刚用到 agreeable， agreeable 这个形容词是形容讨人喜欢的、令人愉悦的或是欣然同意的。那它的相反词是 disagreeable， disagreeable 则表示讨厌的、难相处的，或者是不赞同的、不合意的。解华课文中， Selena Gomez staying strong。Gomez has faced many challenges throughout her life. She was born to young parents who broke up when she was just five years old. Her mother had to work hard as a single parent to support Gomez. One way her mother did this was by working as a stage actress, which sparked Gomez's interest in acting. Now, a positive attitude—that's a good thing. But what's even better is to keep your positive attitude. Even though your life is tough, and get this, Gomez, Selena Gomez has faced many challenges throughout her life, and still she has a positive attitude. Absolutely, you would think that she's beautiful, she's rich, she's famous, everything must be perfect in her life, but no, she has faced many challenges. And challenge here, this noun means a difficult test or a difficult experience in your life. All right, if you. Get dumped if you break up from a bad relationship. If you lose your job. If you face some health problems. These are all challenges. These are all difficult things that life throws at you, and you can handle them in different ways. You can fight on and be more determined and tough, or you can give up and say, "I can't." These are the kinds of things that you'll have to think about and face when you face a challenge. Because it's not easy. It's a difficult test or experience. For example, he was always up. For a challenge, any kind of difficult task or anything like that, he's determined. He'll say, "I can do that." So let's look at some of the challenges that she faced as a young person. It says she was born to young parents who broke up when she was just five、Ooh. years old. So, lot, so, like a lot of young people, her parents were not together very long. Maybe because they were young when they had her. Young parents means. Her parents might have been only eighteen, nineteen, something like that, and that can be difficult. Yeah, so, challenge number one:、mm. she came from a broken home.、Yeah. Her parents separated when she was five years old. So that's、mm. challenge number one. Now, get this: next, 
Her mother had to work hard as a single parent、mm. to support Gomez. So she lived with her mother, and her mother had to work very, very hard to support Gomez. She was supporting Gomez, Selena Gomez, herself. What a mom! Now, here to support someone is to give that thing or that person, I should say, assistance or help. Okay, here Selena Gomez, as a kid, is going to need. Food and shelter and clothes and all of these things cost money.、Mm. So here, the single parent was buying all of these things for Gomez or supporting Gomez, giving her help or assistance in this way so that she could live a somewhat normal life. For example, they support their hometown baseball club, so they like the baseball club. They might give this baseball club. Time and effort, they might volunteer there to help this club out. That's how they support this club or show their support for this club. Yeah, when someone is supporting you, you're not on your own. You're getting help, and of course, for a young kid, that's wonderful. That's necessary. But for one parent to take care of the whole family or the whole kid and do all of the other work, that is a big challenge. One way it says her mother did this was by working as a stage actress, which sparked Gomez's interest in acting. So she kind of came from an artistic or an acting family. Mom was an actress, made a little bit of extra money there, and that sparked or caused Selena, the daughter, to become interested in acting. So she obviously saw mom acting and thought, "One day I want to do that." And well, lo and behold, she did, and she's become quite successful at it. We'll find out more after this break. 哥美兹有正面积极的态度，并不是因为他有名有利，人生过得很顺利。其实他的人生已经面临了许多挑战。他是一对年轻父母所生的。那父母在他五岁的时候就离婚，他的妈妈就成了单亲妈妈，必须努力工作来抚养他。而他妈妈所做的其中一个工作呢，就是当舞台剧的女演员，这让戈梅兹对演戏产生了兴趣。好，文中的 spark。Spark 在这边，它是当动词来表达引发或是激起。Spark one's interest in something 就表示引起某人对什么什么的兴趣。这边还有两个单字 ，challenge。Challenge 是名词，表示挑战。那 Michael 老师解释单字时提到 determined, determined， 这是用来形容坚定的、坚决的、下定决心的。好，下一个单字 support, support 它表示供养、资助或是支持。那 Jeff 老师所说的 assistance, assistance 其实意思跟 help 差不多，就是指协助、帮助。借华课文中 ，Selena Gomez。Staying strong. At just ten years old, Gomez got her first television role on Barney and Friends. After growing too old for the show, she began acting in TV shows for Disney. Her big break came at 15 when she landed the lead role on the hit show Wizards of Waverly Place. She also recorded the show's theme song and went on to record other songs for Disney. She signed a record deal at age 16, and her singing career took off. Challenge number one: broken、mm. home. Challenge、mm. number two: working single mom. But hey, Selena Gomez made it work, anyways, and she started very young. She started succeeding very young. Yes, at just 10 years old, Gomez got her first television role on. Barney and Friends. She made it. She made it to the top. She made it to Barney and Friends. That、well. big purple dinosaur. We love you.、Oh, you、okay. love me. Yeah, everyone、well. loved Barney. <laughs> I guess so. There Any, you go. Anyways, all jokes aside,、uh-huh. she did hit the big time next. Okay,、mm-hmm. after growing too old for Barney and Friends,、mm-hmm. after growing too old for the show, she began acting in TV shows. For Disney, ah, now that's the big time. That's where a lot of young celebrities have come from. Disney, of course, is famous for its movies, but also on the Disney Channel on TV, they have lots of shows made for young people. I'm sure you're familiar with some of them. It says her big break came at 15 when she landed the lead role on the hit show 
Wizards of Waverly Place. All right, so she got her start in the business at 10, but her big break, this is the one that kind of made her famous. She got her name at the beginning of the show. She was the main character. She might have done some work before, but this is the one that really bought, brought a lot of attention to her, and not just from the acting on Wizards of Waverly Place, but of course with the music too. Many Disney shows feature stories and music together, and it seems that Selena Gomez was definitely good at everything she tried on that show. She also, it says she also recorded the show's theme song and went on to record other songs for Disney. So if you were a fan of the show, not only would she be acting in it, but she would be singing the song that you would hear at the beginning and maybe the end of the show. She did everything yeah. on this show. Amazing! Now, before we move on, let's talk about the verb record. Yeah, to record this verb or noun, and we'll talk about the noun later, but to record is to put something on tape or to film something or to write something down so that you can use it later on. We record important things, songs by pop stars or videos of important events, or you might record the words of a famous speaker or something like that. When you record it, you'll be able to come back and look at it, listen to it, or watch it later on. Now, that writing, that tape, that film is a record, okay? It's the same word, same spelling, but a different pronunciation. You record it, the verb, and you make a record that is the actual recording or the thing that you have taken down. For example, the singer has recorded 10 albums in the last decade. Decades, 10 years. That's one wow. album every year. Oh, That's pretty amazing. amazing. So there you go. She was already singing on her big Disney show, and then she kind of took on singing as a professional career. It says she signed a record deal at age 16, and her singing career took off. She became a pop star away from the TV Things show. Things got even better. Acting and singing both. Her career was really taking off. She was becoming successful quite quickly. What's, Anyways, what's folks, next? She's going to win the NBA championship? We'll, we'll find out about that next. She probably won't win the NBA championship, though. For, that, for now, though, it's time for us to take a break, so bye-bye. 哥美兹十岁就得到第一个电视角色。那后来年纪太大，没有办法继续演出那个角色后，他就开始在迪士尼的电视节目当中演出。他十五岁的时候得到一个大好机会，是在一个热门节目里面担任主角，甚至还录制那个节目的主题曲。那他也有替迪士尼来录制其他歌曲。接着在十六岁就签下唱片合约了。那他的歌唱事业就开始起飞了。好，文中的 theme theme 是主题，那么 theme song 就表示主题曲。Jeff 老师有用到 hit the big time， hit the big time 就表示一夕之间大名大放，也就是在短短时间之内呢大获成功，或是变得很出名。那我们最后来看单字 record。Record 是当动词，表示录制或是记录。它也可以当名词，不过念法不同，要念作 record。Record 则表示记录或是唱片。好了，以上是这个讲解，同学们别走开，马上回来哦。大家好，我是 Hanny。在今天的课程中，我们要介绍三个文法重点。第一个是。After 或是 before 加上动词 ing 的句型。第二个是 go on 的意思及用法。第三个是 take off 的不同意思。首先，我们来学习 after 或是 before 加上动词 ing 的句型。After 或是 before 可以做连接词，引导副词子句。当副词子句与主要子句的主词相同时。可以将副词子句的主词省略，再把主动动词改成现在分词。我们来看两个例句。Jane watched TV after she did the dishes. 可以简化成 Jane watched TV after doing the dishes. Jane 在洗好碗之后看电视。再看个例句。He made a phone call before he took a shower. 可以简化成 He made a phone call before taking a shower. 他在洗澡之前打了一通电话。接下来，我们来学习 go on 的意思及用法。Go on 表示继续，之后可以接动词 ing 表示继续目前正在进行的事。
，go on 之后，也可以接不定词来表达继续，或者是接着去做另外一件事。我们来看两个例句。She went on working after hanging up the phone. 她挂完电话之后继续工作。再看个例句。After he finished the first book, he went on to read the next one. 看完第一本书之后，他又继续接着看下一本。最后。我们来学习 take off 的不同意思。片语动词 take off 可以当不及物用，表达下列两种不同意思。第一种是指突然开始走红、成功或是大受欢迎。当这个意思来解释时，要以事物当主词。例如 ，Their business is starting to take off. 他们的事业开始起飞了。第二个是指飞机起飞。The plane will take off in 15 minutes. 飞机即将在十五分钟后起飞。以上是今天重点整理，我们下次见喽 ，See you next time， bye。欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》，我是悠悠。在工作面谈当下呢，主管常常会问这个问应征者说：“哎，你的工作目标是什么？哎，你的职涯？”哦，职牙，职牙，哦哦，不是那个牙齿的，职、哦、业生涯的目标是什么？要怎么回答？好，那如果这个是用英文的面谈的话、嗯，我们就要把这些学起来哦。好，这个职业职业生涯目标<笑> ，career goal，career goal，career goal.、哦、就是你职业生涯，就是那种很长的十年、二十年的那一种，才会叫做 career。嗯 ，career。对，那回答这个问题怎么样？我们不能讲的太天花乱坠，天花乱坠啊！但是又不能讲的没有格局、啊，真的。所以要怎么办呢？怎么办呢？我们就可以把它切开来，短期目标、哦、（short term goal）、short term goal 到长期的目标叫做 long term goal、long term goal。对，这个 term 就是期间的意思哦、嗯。所以比如说期中考就是 mid term，OK mid term、okay, mid-term exam。好，所以你要具体描述自己可以啊做到的行动计划比较好哈。举个例子来听听啊，举个例子是吧？哈，短期而言，你就可以说、嗯、in the short term。in the short term， 短时间内呢 ，in the short term， I hope to work as a design assistant。I hope to work as a design assistant. 对，那就看你想当什么了哈。所以短期，这边我刚刚讲的是 design assistant， 就是设计助理。嗯。design assistant。对。嗯，设计助理。有短期就有长期 ，OK， 所以你就可以说 in the long term， in the long term， 或者是 in the long run， 嗯，哦、oh, ，长跑啊，没有，那个不是长跑，就是长时间来看。Uh. In the long run， I would like to become a professional artistic designer。哇，远大的目标啊！对对对。I would like to become, become a professional artistic designer，, designer、嗯、就是这个美术设计师或者是平面设计师 ，graphic designer。Graphic designer， 这样也可以啊，因为就是 design 的系列的。OK， 我们看一下今天的 live action。Um, please tell me what's your career goal. Career goal. Yeah.、Mm, in the short term,、mm-hmm. I hope to work as a design assistant. That's good. And in the long term,、mm-hmm. I would like to become a professional artistic designer. Wow, that sounds good.